Hello and welcome to this new video. Uh, this time we're going to review uh, the meanings of different uh, prepositions like down, under, below, beneath, and underneath. So all the prepositions that we're going to take a look today are related to something under or something below, okay? Well, uh, uh, I have some images uh, next to the to the to the sentences to the examples, so you can see a little bit of the idea of the position. Okay, so for instance, down. Okay, down meaning in the direction of or at a position, lower position, is like in this direction, always down. The opposite would be up. Okay, so let's uh, um, let me ask you questions, and then you may reply. Did they walk? down the mountain is the restaurant down the street are the oil prices down this week you may reply with the opposite you may say no the oil prices are up this week okay that would be the opposite okay under 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 something is directly under Another thing, okay, and there's something else, okay, so, uh, like in this image, you know, the ball is under the table. Does your dog sleep under your bed? Can you buy alcohol if you're under 18? Is the ball under the table? Yes, it is. The ball is under the table. It's not on the table, it's under the table. Good. Now, underneath, okay, underneath, something, when something is covered or hidden by another thing, okay, like the t-shirt here, you have a shirt, and then the t-shirt is underneath the shirt, okay, that is basically what it is. With that idea, you can use it with any object that is covered by something else, okay? So, do you wear a t-shirt under your shirt? He always seems so cold, but is he a good person underneath? Okay, underneath. That means like, uh, you know, figuratively speaking, okay? Have you ever walked the tunnels underneath the city? Underneath the city? No, I've never walked to the tunnels underneath the city. Below. Okay, below is something which is in a lower position, in a building, in the same building, or a hill, or a part of the body, okay? For example, in a document, can I write anything below the red line? Who lives in the flat below yours? My neighbors, you know, live in the flat below me. Is this uh, skirt below the knee? Yes. Yes, it is. It is below the knee, as you can see in the image. And finally, beneath. Uh, well, beneath is more formal and basically has the same meaning as under or underneath, okay? So was, uh, you, you can say beneath, the ball is beneath the table, but that would be too formal for... For a, for, for a ball. So, so when you want to use a more figurative or formal or emphatic uh, form of uh, speech, then you may use beneath. Was your daughter sleeping like a log beneath her blanket? Does your cat always have beneath the sofa when you have visitors? Yes. He does. He always hides beneath the sofa. You know, that's a little emphatic. Did the calm surface of the water hide the dangerous rocks beneath? Yes, indeed. No, the calm surface of the water hid uh, dangerous rocks beneath. Okay. All right. So this is basically the idea. Okay. So remember, let's review the images beneath, below the knees. Underneath the, 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 the shirt, underneath the t-shirt, the 
ball under the table and walking down the stairs, down the river, down the mountain, okay? So, uh, this is all for today, and I hope that you have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you uh, in the next one. Goodbye.